Welcome back. It's Monday morning. It's a glorious day now. Uh, we did have some rain earlier this morning, about six mil, which was really annoying because I'm trying to get on with some drilling and it rained. So I've got a bit of free time right now. Uh, just waiting for the fields to dry out and then I'll go out after lunch. Yeah, so I thought now that this barn is all finished at farm two, I would show you around it. It looks amazing in the sunshine this morning. I don't know why that end's got flint. Maybe that end was built before this end. I'm not sure. It was extended maybe. But yeah, just looks amazing in the sunshine. Got like a loading loading bay there. I'll show you what it looks like from the inside in a minute. This bit has got steps. Looks brilliant. Slate roof and then tile. I'm not sure what you call those bits. Eaves, I'm not sure. Cement steps. I'm going to also open the door in a minute. I expect this one is locked. Got ventilation holes or gaps. They've got wire in them to stop the wildlife going in there. So the story with this barn, I don't know how old it is. I think there's a, on the beam, in one of the beams inside, there is a date. We'll have a look, sort of like 17th century, something like that. And it's a listed building, so the farm has a duty to, to look after it and make sure it doesn't fall down. It nearly did fall down. Uh, uh, quite a bad storm hit it in 2016 or 17 or 15, somewhere around then. Yeah, and it did nearly fall down. But no, it's not going to fall down now. The builders, they took these walls down and rebuilt them all. The whole, there was little clips of the renovation in my videos that you would have probably seen. Yeah, they took the whole roof off, straightened out all the oak frame, and then put two layers of ply on there and felt, and then the slate. It's guttering. So it's got a cast iron effect, but I think it is plastic. It's pretty clever stuff. Simon's tried to get his tractor in there, but it wouldn't fit. Door's not big enough. Actually, I'll just quickly show you the outside, or the rest of the outside. I can't really see much, the sun's in the, just looking at the sun. And go in here. It's got some nice, smooth, fresh concrete in here. Got windows. It never used to have skylights. And it does have lights as well. Somewhere there's a light switch. Here it is. That's good. <laughs> 3350's in here. The 3350's nearly the of the barn. I can't find it, but on one of these beams... There is a date somewhere, dad might know. So my dad used to work on the farm. He worked on this farm most, pretty much all his life, to date. And yeah, when he worked here, this was all full of um, bins. It was an old grain dryer store. I think there was a dryer in here and quite a lot of bins. There was holes in the ground with uh, elevators and things like that underneath. You can see all the ply board on, this, on the inside of the roof. It's amazing. It's so neat. And yeah, but obviously before that, before it was converted into a grain store, it would have been like an old hay store because the horse and carriages would have come in and gone out the other side. <laughs> they wouldn't have been able to go out this way though, but I expect the... Let's see if I can open this. I expect the ground level was a lot higher when it was first built on this side. Don't jump. Eric, don't. Oh, the dog's just jumped out. <laughs> I bet you can't get back up. Come on, see if you can get back up. Whoa, just about. That's quite a long way down. Quite a cool loading bay. We could put some seed in here. If there was grain in here, you could just load, park the lorries alongside there. And just load straight out the door. They're like solid hardwood doors. Pretty heavy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they had all the hinges specially made by a blacksmith. Mind out the way, Eric. And all these door locks. Just 
Come at something. I wouldn't want to store grain in it though, because it'd be a nightmare trying to get it out from all around these posts. And the posts probably wouldn't last very long. Depends who's on the loader. All these little windows. I'm guessing they were probably built because when it was a hay barn, it was for ventilation. Shame they didn't just make the door a bit bigger so that we could actually get a big tractor in here. You could definitely have a good party in here, that's for sure. You can get a lot of people in here. Get a bar, get a DJ or a live band. Pretty cool. Whenever I say DJ, it makes me think of Kevin and Perry. We are DJs. <laughs>